What's up guys, Bernd here. Today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. I will show you one of my biggest sweet picking hacks or tricks that got me from sounding like this. Like that. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more free guitar lessons. I am doing my best to put them out as frequently as I can. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the video. Let's get started. The trick I'm about to show you is revolving around the very popular free string arpeggio shapes. If you have not spent a lot of time developing your sweep picking technique yet, this is not something you should start with. I always encourage my students to work with bigger arpeggios in the beginning because of one very simple reason. If you look at the graphic below, you will see that you have to turn your sweeping direction a lot when you work with small shapes. And that is exactly the most difficult part of sweep picking in my opinion. I will show you the pattern again that I play in the beginning. Focus on the amount of times I have to change the sweeping direction. The following exercises are all in G minor. As you can see, we start with a pull-off, pulling off D to B flat on the high E string. And then my last upstroke is G on the B string. That's when I already turn my picking direction around and start with the downstrokes with D on the G string. So that's why I recommend to start with bigger shapes when you develop your sweep picking technique. It might be a bit hard in the beginning to memorize and work with bigger arpeggios, but it will be much easier for your right hand to get used to the technique and to sync up with your left hand. I also recommend to separate those two directions in the beginning since the movement and the picking is just a little bit different. So when you start out, you should focus on sweeping down the arpeggio for a couple of weeks, then sweeping up the arpeggio and then you can slowly start to combine those two motions. If you want to develop a good and clean sweep picking technique, you should check out my online course 10 Steps to Modern Shredding. One of those 10 weeks is completely dedicated to sweep picking and another one to creating unique arpeggios. So let's check out the sweeping hack I want to show you in this video. First I will show you the example from the beginning again. This is how I used to play and practice those small free string arpeggios. Now the common way of developing speed and a better technique would be to take this exact exercise and play it faster and faster every day for weeks or months. But like most other players, I hit a wall somewhere on the way. By filming myself when I was practicing this exercise for hours and then analyzing the footage after my practice session, I managed to find the biggest challenge and the biggest problem for me personally and I also found a way to handle it. Sweeping up the arpeggio from D on the 7th fret on the G string to the highest note D on the 10th fret of the high E string was never really a problem for me since the sweep picking motion is smooth and you get used to the movement pretty quickly. The biggest challenge and the part that always threw me off was switching from the upstroke here on the 8th fret, the G on the B string to the downstroke, the D on the 7th fret on the G string. When you do that, your pick has to jump over the G string after your last upstroke on the B string to be in the perfect position for the downstroke. So my idea was to work with a hammer on for the G on the 8th fret of the B string. That way my right hand gets a short break and has time to reposition for the downstroke we have for D on the G string here. I will play the example four times for you again. Two times like we did it in the beginning, picking almost every note aside from the pull-off. And after that I will implement the hammer-on for G. As you can see, the problem I had with the directional changes is gone now. I have enough time to reposition my right hand with the implemented hammer-on. 
Whenever you work in legato techniques with regular picking, you always want to pay attention to the dynamics you create by doing that. For this example, I don't want the listener to hear that I'm hammering this note. It should sound exactly the same when you're not watching me playing. I will play the exercise a bit faster now. Again, pay close attention to my right hand and how relaxed it is as soon as I implement the hammer on. It might feel a bit awkward in the beginning when you practice this at slower tempos, but as soon as you speed it up a bit, you will see that this is a great trick and that your right hand is much more relaxed this way. When you spend enough time on learning this trick, it should start sounding like this. I hope that this little hack helps you with developing speed for your sweep picking sections, but please remember that the most important factor here is still playing these examples as clean as you possibly can. You want all the notes you are playing to be clearly audible and you also don't want any major difference between the picked notes and the legato notes you are using. And obviously you also don't want any overlapping notes when you are sweep picking. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you and if this trick also helps you. Thanks a lot for checking out this video and I hope to see you in the next one.